In this lesson, we'll learn about the slope of a line. In part A, we want to find the slope of the line shown. Before we begin, let's find two points on the line. We'll use the ordered pair 3, 4 as our first point. Our second point is the ordered pair 6, 6. In case you're wondering how these particular points were selected, it was random. Any two points on the line will work for our slope calculations. The first method we'll use to find the slope is the formula slope equals rise over run. Make a right triangle from the first point to the second point. The rise is the vertical side of the triangle. In this triangle, the rise is 2. The run is the horizontal side of the triangle. In this triangle, the run is 3. Plug in the values for rise and run. The slope is 2 over 3. The second method for finding the slope is the slope formula. Recall that we identified two points on the line at the beginning of this question. The subscripts in the formula indicate which point is providing the value. So y2 means the y value of point 2 and y1 means the y value of point 1. It's the same idea for x2 and x1. Plug the y value of point 2 into y2. Plug the y value of point 1 into y1. Plug the x value of point 2 into x2. And finally, plug the x value of point 1 into x1. The slope of the line is 2 over 3. This is the same value we arrived at when we used method 1. In part B, we'll find the slope of the line shown. Before we find the slope, we need two points on the line. We'll use the ordered pair 0, 7 for point 1. And we'll use the ordered pair 1, 4 for point 2. The first method we'll use to find the slope is the formula slope equals rise over run. Draw a right triangle from point 1 to point 2. The rise is minus 3 since there is a vertical drop from the first point to the second point. The run is 1. Plug the rise and run into the slope formula to get minus 3 over 1. The slope of the line is minus 3. The second method we'll use to find the slope is the slope formula. Recall that the subscripts indicate which point is providing the value. Plug the y value of point 2 into y2. Plug the y value of point 1 into y1. Plug the x value of point 2 into x2.
and finally plug the x value of point 1 into x1. This gives us minus 3 over 1. The slope of the line is minus 3. This is the same value we arrived at when we used method 1. In part C, we'll find the slope of the horizontal line shown. Let's begin by finding two points on the line. We'll use the ordered pair minus 4, 3 for point 1. We'll use the ordered pair 6, 3 for point 2. The first method we'll use to calculate the slope is the formula slope equals rise over run. The rise is zero since there is no vertical space between the two points. The run is 10 since the horizontal distance between the points is 10 units. Plug in the rise and run to get zero over 10. The value of the slope is zero. Now we'll use a slope formula to calculate the slope of the line. Plug the y value of point 2 into y2. Plug the y value of point 1 into y1. Plug the x value of point 2 into x2. And finally plug the x value of point 1 into x1. This gives us 0 over 10. The slope of the line is 0. This is the same value we obtained using method 1. We can generalize that all horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So when you see a horizontal line, you can immediately say the slope is 0 without having to do any calculations. In part D, we'll find the slope of the vertical line shown. Let's begin by finding two points on the line. We'll use the ordered pair minus 6, 7 for point 1. And we'll use minus 6, minus 3 for point 2. Let's find the slope using slope equals rise over run. The vertical distance from point 1 to point 2 is minus 10, so the rise is minus 10. It might seem odd to have a negative rise, but this is what we get when the line moves downwards. The horizontal distance between the points is 0, so the run is 0. Plug in the rise and run. We are not allowed to divide by 0, so minus 10 over 0 is undefined. Now we'll use a slope formula to calculate the slope. Plug the y value of point 2 into y2. Plug the y value of point 1 into y1. Plug the x value of point 2 into x2. And plug the x value of point 1 into x1. This gives us minus 10 over 0. The slope is undefined.
we can generalize that all vertical lines have a slope of undefined. So when you see a vertical line, you can say the slope is undefined without having to do any calculations.